Your cooker makes my day. Come on and simmer. Stay on the job. I need a little taste of your sauté. Come on and simmer. How you fricassee? You always leave me wanting more. Come on and. Simmer. Now give it to me. You always leave me wanting more. You always leave me wanting more. You always leave me wanting more. for five years and I don't think one day has gone by without Rebecca saying something about Susan. <laughs> What's her name? Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca was my first love. And uh, so this is my farewell toast. I bid you farewell. Don't forget I taught her everything she knows. <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> Best of luck, Becca. Susan. And, uh, you know, we'll see you six months later. I'm so excited. See you later, buddy. I found out Susan's pregnant, and um, they're gonna name the godparent tonight. I think it's gonna be me. Yeah, I agree. If they want the baby to have fashion advice from someone. To love. To love. To love. love. Cheers. 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 You guys, Susan and I would just like to. <sighs> My wife. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> we would just like to thank you guys for being here. I mean, this is what it's all about. I mean, you're our family. Also, just being here on what was a moment's notice. Yeah. Because of Proposition 8 looming over our heads and. 
family just being all up in our business. And, uh, and even though it probably won't, won't pass, uh, but um, we just thought that we, we should do it. Just in case. Just in case. So thank you. Thank you. And also to our amazing Paul, <laughs> who pretty much orchestrated this whole evening. Wow. So thank you, Paul. He you insisted to take care of every little detail. Mm -hmm. You know Paul. So Paul. Oh. Paul. Oh. And uh, Paul, this is for you from us. Wookies. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Open it, open it. Wow, um, okay. <laughs> oh, what the heck. <laughs> oh my god. Ladies and ladies. Oh. <laughs> I've just been asked to be this glorious couple's first child's godparent. <laughs> Who is going to make the worst godparent ever? Yes. It's not going to be very good at all. It's filled. You know, Paul, I think you are going to make the best godparent ever. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you know that guy? Don't look, don't look. Oh, for God's sakes, just ask him out. <clears throat> what are you taking now? Terry thought he was going to be named a godparent. Oh, you are kidding me. I told, I told Susan not to tell anybody, especially Terry, because he can't keep a secret. Is he hurt? <laughs> You're terrible. Here, it's an early birthday present. Yeah. Rebecca. Thank you. Right. Her tenth farewell performance. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know what? You should ask Jim to go. I know he's a complete Miss Piggy B freak, too. I think you guys would really hit it off. You should ask him. Paul, grow some big ones and go ask him out. You know I can't be in a relationship right now. My work takes up all of my time and keeping up with this house. And I'm way too set in my ways, and I think I'm allergic to Lycra. Well, there's a pussy on this couch, and it ain't me. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No worries. Yeah. Where did you go? Thank oh. you. Yes, no problem. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> At least it wasn't red wine. I don't allow red wine in the house. It stains. Well, I just love, love, love your home. It kind of reminds me of Tomorrowland. That's the best compliment ever. I loved your ceremony. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Paul, Rebecca tells me you haven't had a relationship since high school. How does that make you feel? Um, just fine. Well, it was great to finally meet you, Paul. Okay. Here's my card. 
call me anytime. Rebecca put me up to this. <laughs> Thank you. actually producing the event. Well, I just wanted to come by and say hi before I left. You know, Rebecca uh, says so much great things about you. She really loves you, which means you must not be that bad because she's great. Well, I guess, I guess I'll see her on. Great place. Yeah, the, um, whatever. <laughs> he, he didn't hear you say that. Aww. Quiet. And when I was 36 years old, I thought my life was over. Life hadn't gone the way that I planned, and I thought I was through. After years of trying to make something of myself, I had to wonder, is that it? Is that all I get? Is that it? That's all I get. So what now, Margo? Paul? It's your father. Mm -hmm. It's your father. Dad? Have you heard from your mother? What? The car could break down, she could get lost, she could end up in a ditch on the side of the road. I mean, the woman has the worst sense of direction of anybody I know. Even after I got her, that expensive GPS navigation system and that overpriced car of hers. I mean, she barely Dad, knows Dad, even how to turn it Dad, on. You're scaring me. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sure she's fine. She left today to, to drive out. To, to see you. Just don't worry. I'm sure she's fine. How was Rebecca and Susan's wedding? It was perfect. Yeah. Good. Paul, um, you ever think that maybe he might want to get married? I don't know, Dad. Mom doesn't exactly approve, and I mean... I just want you to know that I'd support your son with all my heart. And I'm sure your mother does too. So, uh, it's late. I'm going to let you go. But um, but listen, don't tell your mother I called, okay? I know she wants to surprise you herself in person. Okay, Dad. Well, just, um, I love you, Polly. I love you. Good night, son. I can't believe it. My dad just said that my mom is coming to visit me and that he and my mother support me if I ever want to get married. Wow. This is really a big deal. Cool. Wow.
runs her own very successful company that deals with multi-million dollar deals. But she is a virgin. She's only had one relationship in high school, and she is very, very Dr. Christina, <clears throat> it's Paul Roll here. I need to make an appointment with you real soon, so um, I don't, I don't want to be in therapy for the rest of my life. So can you call me back, please? Thank you. Please, please. Is he your new American boyfriend? Oh, don't be stupid. He sounded gay. Hello. gay. Where have you been? I've been calling you. Oh my god, you look like shit. What are you doing? We're getting you dressed. We're going to meet the gang for lunch. Oh my god, you, you have nothing to wear. We've got to do something about this. What's wrong with my clothes? Hey, take this. Oh, that'll do. And hurry up.
I want to get married. Guys! Okay! No, this is no. Not no okay. Guys. Yeah. Yes, it is okay. Okay, at least you're starting to know what it is you want, right? I think it's great. I mean, you're going to have to hurry because, you know, the latest polls show that Proposition 8 is going to pass. How could this happen in this day and age? <laughs> Terry, you and Paul live in your perfect little bubble, but the truth is there are some people who just don't want us here. And they're not going to do anything to make it easy. Yes, like Wisconsin. Better hurry up then. Uh, guys, listen. In reality, he's not going to be able to get married in the listen, next couple of days. Everybody has their own process, right? Please still. Especially with this. Paul. Don't encourage this crazy fool any more than he's already crazy. All I know is that when I finally let go of the idea of what was supposed to make Don't me happy. Listen to her, okay? I found happiness. Where did you buy your vanilla candles? Okay, look, I'm trying to I'm trying to tell a story here, okay? So, you know, sometimes if you if you hang on to something so tight, I don't know, you just it can end up slipping right through your fingers, you know? Oh, hey, Jim! We're late. <laughs> yeah, are you guys coming or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys, we're organizing a big rally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we gotta go. That. You guys, um, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yes. Let's go. It'll be okay. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, it's okay. Don't leave. Oh, he's handsome. Who do you think that gorgeous man was? I don't know. I think maybe it was Jim's boyfriend. Well, then why did Rebecca try to set us up? Maybe she didn't know. I, I don't know. That's what it looked like to me. Oh, did your heart break? Well, forget oh. him. <laughs> I'm gonna get married by next Tuesday. Oh my god. I'm in the mood for something creamy And a gentleman is dreamy Where are you? You know, little oasis out in the desert. It's, it's just really lovely. You know, flowers everywhere. The bed was just a little well, bit firm, but I honestly can't wait to tell all my friends about it. Well, I, I'm just, hold on. Dad, Dad freaked me out and called me and was asking me where you were and all this kind of stuff, so I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Really, really well. <laughs> Yes, I am. I am on my way to see you, dear, but it was supposed to be a surprise. He also told me that you had something to tell me. Now, where's my purse? Did you check the back seat? No. Yeah, I know. It's it's incredible. We got Miss Piggy B to perform. I know. It's it's amazing. Oh, fudge. I love you. I'm sorry, I Father. Love... got you worried over nothing. I love you. 
<laughs> Give me a break. What was that, dear? What's he doing? Listen, Paul, don't tell your father uh, that you talk to me, okay? I, you know what? I am um, taking a little detour. I need to find something for our anniversary. But your anniversary right. isn't for another six months, Mom. No, well, and I found my purse safe and sound. Um, Mom, I'm going to have to go. Oh. Paul? Love you, miss you. Bye. For heaven's sake. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Oh, sir. Oh. Do you know where I could get some nice breakfast? Oh, God, I guess he didn't hear me. Oh, oh God. Oh. I think she got something. I think she did. I think it's kind of a flat thing. I want to get married. I want to get married. I want to get married. What am I doing? You're the most beautiful man in the world. You're the most beautiful man in the world. Jordan Stone and with Miss Deborah Anderson. Jonathan Tate is the big daddy behind the whole ball of wax. He's a billionaire that's B, not M. This is totally in your call now, okay? Besides the new logo, Tess and I came up with a mock-up commercial of all their new sickening sweet specifications. You got this now, okay? Yes. Well, if they have that much money, then we can handle anything. Let's take that money. We got <laughs> All of it. Time is money, Mr. Roll. Yes, I totally agree, Miss Anderson. And that is why we here at Roll Advertising have painstakingly created a mock-up commercial that can be run all over the country. the way it should be. I like it. But I need you to tell me why I should hand over a $5 million contract to roll advertising. By the time that I was 21 years of age, I was in charge of... I'm well aware of your background, Mr. Roll. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here. Yes, of course. Roll advertising is a boutique agency. Now we take on only clients we feel we can represent with the fullest confidence. The bottom line is, your company does not get lost in the shuffle like it would with a large firm. Now I know because I used to work with that kind of firm. It is being handheld by me all the way through its process. We listen to what you want, we deliver on time, within budget, and we can take on requests that sometimes seem a little impossible. We love a good challenge. Call me Deborah. 
We were a little concerned with our first impression of Mr... Let's just say that we weren't sure that you could grasp our vision. But we see that now that we've met you, Paul, that you do understand us. This ad campaign is backed by a very wealthy gentleman, and it has a very strong agenda. Yes, Jonathan Tate. I think you are the perfect man for the job. We'll be in touch, Paul. We need something done ASAP. For a minute. I just had the uh, lovely buffet. Sometimes it has that effect on people. I don't suppose you would know where I could purchase a cell phone? What's with all the pay phones disappearing everywhere? Maybe the gift shop, sweetie. I don't have one. Personally, I prefer it to be not that easy to find. Can I get you something? Oh, you know you can get me something, Lucy. I'll have my usual and wanted to give my friend here something for her stomach. She had the buffet. Why are we eating here? I just had this craving for Kung Pao chicken for some reason. At the Happy Garden? Mm -hmm. Well, time is money, Mr. Rolls. <laughs> She's quite a piece of work. You do realize who these people are, don't you? Yep, they're clients. Well, what if they want us to do a yes on the Prop 8 campaign? Terry, for all we know, they just want us to do these sappy little ads, some email blasts, and I mean, look, come on. We live in California, and it's, 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 it's 2008. Proposition 8 is never going to pass. Maybe. I almost died when Rebecca mentioned them at the wedding. Look, I told you, <laughs> bonuses for everybody. I'm already shopping. <laughs> I like him. Mm, you can have him. Look. I, <laughs> I just can't believe it. What's wrong? This means everything's going to be fine. We... We can expand the business, we can hire more people. This is everything you dreamed of. Mm -hmm. I've got an idea, you're gonna love this. Oh, I'm going to take relationship advice from a guy who thinks that a date is a guy showing up at three in the morning wearing nothing but a jock strap and holding a dildo. Thanks. for <laughs> two. Thank you. Uh, tea. I'm good. Um, Soda. Uh, uh, no, no, I, th I think that will, um, I'm fine. Thank you. Do you have um, Sauvignon Blanc? I'd like a glass of that. Thanks. Well, you know what? Rebecca's going to wonder where we got this money from. And if she finds out we're working for the family, she's going to kill us. Well, she's never going to find out unless you tell her. What is in this drink? <laughs> I feel just fine now. Mm. <laughs> You know, there is something so wonderfully addictive and hypnotic about <laughs> putting all this money in and watching all the little pictures whiz by. <laughs> Atta girl. I want to thank you for the other night. The other night? 
You were the one who came to my rescue by the side of the road. Oh, it was nothing, honey. <sighs> oh! Three hundred dollars! Three hundred dollars! I have never won anything in my life. All right, I gotta call Gregory. <laughs> um, but I still need to get a phone. You better get a room while you're at it. You're not driving anywhere. And call your hubby. What you got there, little lady? Hey, what you doing there messing with my baby girl? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Oh, I... come on, honey. No, no, that looks like my wife's cell phone. Uh, have, have you seen a woman by herself, um, mid-40s? Yeah. I think we saw a little car down the ways broken down. Could, could you take me there? We, we could take my car. Yeah, I think we could take you there. I think that'd be real nice. Don't you think it'd be real nice, baby girl? Okay, come on. Right, we right, could take here. him for a ride, couldn't we? We could take him for a real good ride. Come on, <laughs> sweet pie. You want to get Polly's number in here? It's very simple. Now watch. You go to your memory, open that up. So you're going to add a new in your menu. Well, you lie. Okay, I'm done. You call anybody, talk to anybody. Done. Maybe I could try a new phone. Restaurant down there, they got some good stuff in the uh, dumpster. Do they have any pickles? Are you sure we're in the right place, guys? I don't know. We'll have to find out they got any pickles. Come November, I think I'm gonna get a job again and that'll be real good. I'm but, gonna get some turkey. But the road ends. I mean, there's nothing out here, guys. What? Yep. yep. We're in the right place, aren't we, baby girl? We're Why in the right place. Why don't you show them what you got? Yeah, that's real good. Just pointing at him. Uh, okay, okay. Now, uh, huh? Uh, what? what we need from you yeah. is we need that there watch. I like that ring. I like his pants. And baby girl likes your pants. All right, baby.
I don't like him anyway. He's one of those... One of those what? He's one of those humanitarian types that wants to save the planet. What's wrong with that? Um, can you, uh, can you get me the phone, please? This is Paul. Hello, honey. Did you cover yourself up? <laughs> she can't see us. Um, Mom, are you there? Yeah. Listen, I, I just wanted to let you know, I, I'm going to be a few more... Uh, I'm, I'm having lunch with some friends at this very, very quaint little restaurant. Hello? Hello? Paul? Can you hear me? Come on. I <laughs> do my honestly this has never happened before. I'm really, really sorry. Really apologize. I'll get you some napkins. Hello? 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 Come on. Now clean him up. Hello? Especially Hello? his little bits. Are you sure this is what guys want? I look like a prepubescent boy. Well, at least something looks young. Pretty funny. What? I'm not wearing any socks with my loafers. Like you. Yeah, mine are Prada, yours are boring. Thanks, Lucy. <laughs> I don't mean to pry, but why do you always wear sunglasses? Long story, honey. Long story. So what's a rich, uptight lady like you doing in a hellhole like this? To get up real close so I can see you. Well, what did you uh, see there? You raised an eyebrow. So you ran off just like little Dorothy Gale trying to figure out what's on the other side of the rainbow. I'd say you got pissed off with your hubby and Ran off to be with your son. My fuckface of a husband. I stand corrected. Your fuckface of a husband. You know, Gregory has these primitive ideas about having to do everything for me. Till one day I realized I didn't know how to do anything. Balance a checkbook. Program that damn navigational device he got for me. Nothing. And my son, my son is gay. And you have a little problem with that? Oh, no, 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 no. I, uh, I don't have a problem with that at all. I am a very, very open-minded modern woman. I am. Bullshit. That's what you want people to think, but Deep down, you still have those old feelings that were drilled into you when you were a little Catholic girl. I, um... I wish my son wasn't gay. I thought I was the most amazing mom. <laughs> Waving the rainbow flag, hanging out at gay bars. And then I realized I just wasn't that comfortable with it all. I, uh, 
I was raised in a very strict religious home. You know, this whole marriage thing is just <laughs> crazy. When I had Paul, I swore I would not impose on him the uh, structure that was imposed on me. I, I took him to synagogues, Buddhist temples. Oh, we even went to um, a Roman mass one Sunday. That was his favorite. He just loved all the robes. That should have given you a clue right there. Sweetie, I've done a lot of living, and one thing I've learned, and it's all so very simple, it's all about L-O-V-E. Lucy, two more shots of tequila. You know, and how about one of those cigarettes? <laughs> you know, when I was in college, my sorority sisters and I um, shared one. Hmm. <coughs> 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 oh, yeah. So remember, relax, don't be nervous. Okay. When you first meet them, be really funny, say something witty, like straight off the bat, drop a joke, and be uh -huh. really playful. Okay, playful, funny, wait, no, funny. Sexy. Funny, then playful. Charming. Okay. Passionate. Passionate. And don't be geeky or ugly. You're, you want to be great, actually. All right. You're looking really handsome tonight. Thanks. And that was sincere, mm. me being sincere. Right. What are you taking now? Just some decongestions. My allergies are going crazy right now. Ridiculous. No, wait, don't. That's better. Shouldn't I be able to see the guys and breathe? Go. Go get him, Tiger. Hey, what's up? Well, well, welcome to the first ever bar dating night at the Silver Fox. Here is some stuff for you to fill out and um yeah yep. okay. oh well, it's, come on get in there and have a good time we're gonna Let's be get a drink. we're not gonna be a problem we're just okay. a little bit scared right. a little bit nervous okay. well here he goes how long have you lived in the city so, how long have you had your kitty? My kitty? How'd <laughs> she die? That <laughs> was terrible. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Um, how long did you have her? <laughs> Days. <laughs> How does this guy look? Cute. Young, but cute. So you're really cute. Yours. Yeah, I still use that word. Do you want to know why? Because it works. Oh, no. <laughs> some of them are right there. <laughs> oh, oh. I really like older guys. I mean, as long as they're not like super old and they're like over 30. Oh my God, can you imagine? It's all saggy and hanging down. <laughs> I like to design clothes. It's actually because I'm a big fan of Project Runway. Oh, and American Idol. Oh my God, I actually tried out for American Idol. Do you wanna hear what I sang? That Simon is such an ass. What? Is there something wrong with you? Do you kitties? Um, I'm allergic. <gasps> Sorry. Sorry. So, um, Terry took my glasses so I can't see poop. 
but um, anyway, you're not going to sing me a song, are you? This other guy tried to sing me a song, and like, I don't think it was going to be very good or anything. He said he was on American Idol. Have you been on American Idol before? I don't even think I've ever even seen the show before. I think it's a singing show, though. You kind of look familiar. Have I seen you before? Huh? You like sort of have a face. Like that. Ow! I was at Becca's wedding. <laughs> okay, this might sting a little bit. All right. Ow. Okay, okay my sting. Ow. It's gonna help. Ow. Okay. It's gonna really help. We've been down the swelling. Oh. So, you mean you're not his boyfriend? No, actually, we just work at the same nonprofit together. Terry convinced me that you must be his boyfriend. No, I didn't. I didn't. Yes. Ow. Yes, you did, Terry. That's why I went on that stupid speed dating thing with him. Will you please tell Jim that it was just a stupid speed dating thing and that I really, really like him and that it was all Terry's fault? Mm. Has a look. You can hardly say it. My head hurts. Well, that is normally what happens when you fall off a stool and bang your head. Mm. You'll be fine. All right. Rest up. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Feel better, Paul. Thanks. Nice lamp. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Doctor, this is Paul. I went on this stupid speed dating thing tonight and it was the worst day of my life. Will you please call me back? I really need your help. Thanks. Paul, to dates? I'm talking to you. Breathe. Help. Breathe. Water. Pants. There's a lot of big there, uh, a lot of big, and I would, yeah, yeah, I would definitely say that you know what you want, at least part of it, anyway. Hello, darlings. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh my, do we have here a little, little collage? I bet if you take some, like, Soapy water, that'll take the papers off. Oh, I, I like that couch. All you need are rainbows and unicorns. I just go online if I want to find a date. Kind of looks like you. 
looks like Jim. <laughs> we'll never do that again. I'm a complete failure. Paul, <laughs> I would never ever set you up with somebody who was married or had a boyfriend. I love you, sweetheart, but you can be so gullible sometimes. Can I ask you a question? What's Terry's motivation? I do know that Jim did talk an awful lot about you the other night. He did? Hand me the phone. Hand me the phone. Push the buttons too hard. Hello, Jim. Wow. This is Lamb Pops with a cherry reduction and fingerling potatoes and um, roasted carrots and fennel bowl. That's it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Looks great. Really? Thank you. I'm a little nervous. So, yes, tell me, so tell I, me. I like him <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to see him again tonight. I love that. I love it. I love playing game maker. Ah, yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> and you know, Marco started seeing Terry too. No, no, I didn't know that. How are you doing today, honey? I'm fine. Staying another day? I'm not ready to see anyone yet. Clear the mind. Always good. I like playing the slots. It's my meditation. Hmm. Why don't you give mine a whirl? Really? Tell me something. Do you feel loved? 
Well, you sure know how to ask questions. Well, do you? Yes. Yes, I... Uh, I need to call my son. This is my one and only love. I take it with me wherever I go. And whenever I'm feeling lonely, I look at it so I can remember that for at least one moment of my life, I was loved. Oh. Oh my God! <laughs> I won! I won, how much did I win? What did I win? Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars? I won five thousand dollars? Are you kidding? Oh my god! <gasps> Lucy, I need a drink! So? So. So, how long have you been in love? With, with Piggy B. Oh, um, well, um, I, I think, uh, I was, yeah, I was six, I think. Yeah, because I saw her in a Christmas special, a big Christmas special, a Piggy B Christmas Spectacular with Tiny Tim and Ruth Buzzy. I have it on VHS. <gasps> no! Oh, yeah. I saw it on eBay a few years ago, and I tried to bid on it, but then this idiot outbid me. Can you believe that? I think I'm that idiot. Oh, yeah. Um, it's okay. I know. I know. <laughs> Wait, can I borrow it? No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. God, it wasn't a bullet. It was not a bullet. Yeah, right? Yeah, I think so. It's okay. It's fine. What'd you wish for? Can't tell you. It won't come true. Good rules. Ow. Okay. So you know this whole marriage thing? It's kind of got me thinking. Mm -hmm. For the first time in our lives, we actually have the opportunity to get married. I mean, I never thought that I'd ever actually see it in my lifetime, you know? Me either. I mean, I'm out there every day trying to get these simple-minded ignoramuses to not take away our rights, you know? It just makes me, it makes me so angry. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Do you, um, do you ever think that you maybe want to, um, I don't know, um, get married just to, you know, just before they take away the right to make a, uh, make a statement or something? I don't know. I don't want to be forced into something that I might, oh, yeah, no, you know, mm -hmm. regret later. No, yeah, no. Do you want to get married? No, I mean, not to, but, you know, in general. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. You do? I, well, I mean, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why, is that bad? No. Okay. <laughs> what? Wait, just... Oh, what the heck. Yeah. <laughs> Where Paul? He no call? Stupid.
have a meeting I have to go to this morning. Yeah? This morning. Okay. Uh, around the corner. Wait, what? There's a coffee shop around the corner. Oh, okay. Morning, boss. You look good. So how did the day go? It looks like you went well. That's marvelous. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not even mad at you, Terry, for almost sabotaging it. Oh, did Miss Anderson say what this emergency meeting was for? No, she didn't. She just said she wanted a meeting. It has come to our attention that Proposition 8 may not pass. Here in California, we cannot allow the homosexuals the right to marry. What can we do to take this message home? Um. <clears throat> uh, well. We can have a basic HTML uh, made up with this logo and the <clears throat> yes on Proposition 8 added so that everyone on Tuesday morning will wake up with this reminder in their inbox. It's a little too late for the commercial, but I do believe that the email blast across the state will get the response that you desire. Good. Do it. I'm afraid I'm not feeling too good. Thank you very much, Paul. You have been great. Your partner is a bit uh, high strung. What I believe he's trying to say is you're just more our type of people. Let's meet up here next Wednesday and discuss our attack. Shall we say 9 a.m.? And maybe it's best if it's just you at the meeting. Your partner makes the boys feel a little uncomfortable. where Terry went. He went to the little boys' room. He didn't look so good. Look, wait. I didn't know that this is how it was going to go. I didn't. What are you going to do? Terry, if we let go of this account, we'll go under. I know I was hypnotized by the money. My stomach was sick in there. I can't do this. I can't, I can't work. I can't work for someone that can. Sorry. What, why did, why didn't you want me to be with Jim? <laughs> so you can manipulate him and marry him before the Prop 8 passes. You might be the amazing reason it does pass. I don't see you returning the check. Yeah, Jim, hang on a second, okay? Get me all the dirt that you can on the family. <laughs> sir, yes sir! Thanks. 
Okay. Really? Okay. Thanks. Bye. Yep. Boss, I finally got the skinny on this guy. So on the outside, he looks totally clean, like he should get a fracking medal or something. But then the truth comes out, and he's got his grubby little fingers into so many dirty pots. Foreign oil, arms dealing, racketeering, and this is the best part. There's some very interesting rumors surrounding him, too. Great, Tess. Thanks. So what do you want me to do? I'm going to have to get back to you. Bye. The family. The fucking family ball. How could you? They, they just wanted me to do, do, do these sap, sap, sappy little commercials. How much money did they give you, Paul? How much? How much did it take for you to fuck everyone you know? Me. Paul, what are you fucking doing? You can make this right, okay? You can make this right, but you better do it now. Do you understand me? Or your life is going to end in disaster, I promise you. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Did Jim find out? I'll let you guys talk about it. Paul. Oh. Listen, I have, I have feelings for you. I'm sorry. I'm just... I just I'm so confused right now. Paul, Paul, I left your, your goddamn son of a bitch fuck face, father. Excuse me? Oh, it's over between us. We, we had a big, a big disagreement. What did you do, go buy a new dress? He'll get over it. Just, um... It's not that easy this time, honey. Just call him, okay? Yeah. Just, just call him. Paul, I love you. I love you, okay? Bye bye. I 
got to see Paul. How much money did they give you, Paul? How much? How much did it take for you to fuck everyone you know? I have feelings for you that I haven't felt in a long time. I can't do this. And I can't work with someone that can. Where the is that this time of night? Nobody's dead. Boss, what is going on? Sorry, Tess. Oh my god, you gave me a heart attack. I need you to pull the whole plug on the family. Cancel everything. Do you think it's too late? Well, it'll take some doing, but I think I can get it done. Hey, boss. Yeah? I'm proud of you. Thanks, Tess. Oh, Tess? Set up a meeting with Miss Deborah Anderson for nine in the morning, okay? Okie dokie, boss. Thanks. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Sugar, I need that. Oh, darling, come on. It's taking me months to get this. <gasps> I need to send some emails. Why do you women never understand? <laughs> you can get back to your little game. Yeah, well, my raiding oh. party was about to kill the boss. I mean, you can't ruin it now, yeah. Well, that sounds important. I'd help you, but I can't see a damn thing. So what's up for today? I've got a few hours to kill before I head out. Wanna try the nickel slots again? Or she would be adventurous and go for the quarters. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think it's time I get on my way. Thank you. at me right now but please just come to a nine o'clock meeting with miss anderson trust me Water. You better have some in here. Here, here's a little bit of ice. Oh, uh, you just look terrible. I don't know uh, what happened to you. Uh, you look uh, like you have a little sunburn or something like that. I'm uh, looking for my wife. Oh. Uh, little, little short gal, uh, mid 40s, red hair. Mrs. Uh, Roll. Uh, Go by by the nickname of Tootsie. Yeah. She's a kick in the face. Oh. Such a nice lady. And a good tipper, too. Uh. You must be the fuck face of a husband. Oh, honey. You just missed her. Isn't that right, Janine? Yeah, that's right. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. Here, have a little napkin here. Morning, boss. You okay? 
Okay, here's all the dirt on the big guy. And here's your refund check. What? You know I've been doing your signature for years. You knew I was going to do this? I made the appointment yesterday afternoon. I love you. I know. Now go knock him dead. So, Paul, I see that you had another plan that you didn't share with us. This gentleman is half of, as they say, a well-oiled machine. To ask that he not be present during an important meeting with a client is inappropriate. May I remind you that you and I have a contract. Not finished yet. Um, Ms. Anderson? Sometime in one's life, one has to question one's morals. I assure you that Jonathan Tate is one of the leading men of our country with only the highest morals and the best intentions. The Jonathan Tates of the world can look incredibly clean on the outside until one digs deeper. This morning, there were no email blasts, no press releases, no one heard a peep on the family stance on Proposition 8. Here's your full refund. Ms. Anderson. Ms. Anderson, I love my country. I'm a little idealistic. I do believe that justice will prevail and you, the family, Jonathan Tate, at the end of the day, can do nothing about it. Oh, and by the way, I'm not one of your fudging people. Mr. Roll, Proposition 8 will pass. I guarantee it. Wow. You told her. I just wanted you to understand your worth to me. Come here. Come on! I really am fucked. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize you were Miss Piggy B. <laughs> Can I get a lift? My son is your biggest fan. What's his name? Paul Roll. Hmm. Well, isn't that something?
by the way, just in case you're wondering, Jim, everything's cool. He is so proud of you. Wait, you mean he's not mad at me anymore? No! No, not at all. As a matter of fact, I think you're probably going to get the best sex in your life tonight. It's true. Wow! Here you go, ladies. You may want to stay close, Manny. We're either going to be jumping for joy or I'm going to have to slap you. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, I've got to go backstage, so I'll see you guys after. Okay? All right, see you soon. What did she say? Welcome to the stage, the legendary comedian, Miss Rebecca. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you're not mad at me anymore. Oh. <laughs> now, I've heard that we're just waiting on the news to announce the next president of the United States, and God, I hope it's the right one. And you go out and find your son. definitively say that Barack Obama will be the next president of the United States. The next president of the United States is Barack Obama. This is truly an historic occasion. You now know the next president will be Barack Obama. Our first black president. Mom? How? I'm Jim. Hi. How do you do, Jim? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Proposition 8 has passed. Gay marriage is no longer legal in the state of California. Gay marriage. The abomination against God will not be tolerated in this country. Marriage will remain sacred. And that is filth. This unbridled filth will not be tolerated in our country. God bless you. As far as what will happen to the gays who have already married in recent months, news is we're still awaiting news on that. There'll have to be a, a judgment. But for the time being, no more gays will
I have to go find my mom. Obama elected, and the other? Well, we'll just have to continue to fight the good fight. Yeah, yeah, the good fight. Um, I... Uh, I just got the bank statement. I have something I need to confess. Tootsie. What is this? A $500,000 donation to the family? Are, are you insane? I, I, I acted impulsively. I, I just... Impulsive? No, no, impulsive is like buying something at the checkout stand. Half a million dollars to the family? Do you know what this means to your son? Do you know what this is going to do to him? How can, oh, I mean, you have done some crazy stunts, Tuts, but this is outrageous. How could you? How could you do that to Paulie? How are you gonna make that right? You can't. That's impossible. I don't, I, I can't even talk to you. And where do you think you're going? Oh, just stay out of my way, Gregory. It is over between us. I am done. I am, I am going to LA and I'm going to be with my, I'm gonna be by myself. And are you going to tell Paul what you did? How are you going to make that right with him? It is over between what? us. You what? Five hundred thousand uh, dollars? It was the most stupid thing I've ever done. Uh, oh, Paul, I am so sorry. I, 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 it was just a mistake. I, oh, I don't know. I, I was just being stupid. We've all done stupid things, honey. My husband left me for a man. My house burned down. My dog was killed by a falling tree struck by lightning. And I'm legally blind. But I'm still here. You're legally blind? In 1974, I used Mighty Glue to put on my eyelashes. I just got so tired of putting them on every day. Oh, that's why you wear the sunglasses. And you've been driving a car? These are the original lashes. Not bad, eh? Um, well, they're... N no, yeah, they're... Um, they're fine. No, they're, they're, they're good. Pretty. They? They're, they're good. They look good. Yeah. No, they're nice. They're nice. Thank you. Isn't there some kind of procedure you could have? There is, but it takes big bucks. And I'm fresh out of big bucks just now. What's this? It's my winnings from the casino. The $5,000? Well, what? minus 100 that I gave to Lucy for a tip because, wow, well, I think she really needs it. But B, you can get your eyes fixed. The beginning of making everything right. Oh, come here, Miss Uptight Thing, and give me a hug. <laughs> I have a confession, too. Till last night. I was working for the family. I was just about to do all these ad campaigns and email blasts. But then I gave them a full refund. Even though now it means that my business may go under and any delusion that I have of saving up my own money for my own wedding is no longer a possibility. Well, it looks like it's been true confessions all around. B? That's your first love, right? You always have that picture with you. He's some billionaire now. Jonathan Tate. Wait, wait, why does that name sound so familiar? He's the head of the family. Who have you been meeting with? Miss Deborah Anderson? Oh, I 
I'm so sorry. I, I, I will make this right. I will. You have to. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make this right. I, I, so I'm going to kick my purse. Um, listen, I need, um, I need a computer and I need a phone. Upstairs to the left. Okay, thanks. That Miss Piggy B is something, isn't she? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, she is. <sighs> she really opened my eyes. Hmm. Last night, I got it. I stood there and listened to that man who calls himself a Christian tell the world that my son is an abomination against God. Some kind of subhuman because of whom you love. Christian in my eyes. You and your amazing friends have every right to stand up before God or whatever and shout out that you love another human being. everything, shouldn't it? Glad you worked it out. Oh, good, oh. good. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. I'm oh. so glad you're okay. Where have you been? Uh, about two days behind you. The entire time, I, I must what? smell like a muskrat. You do. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes, this is Paul. Oh, my name is Victor, and you have a what? Messages? Um... Oh. For heaven's sake, Gregory, have you seen my purse? Did you look in the bedroom? I can't find my shirt. Has anybody seen my shirt? Downstairs in the laundry. I swear I don't know. They're missing my keys. Dad, have you seen my keys? This is Lance. They're in the bathroom. I'm outside San Francisco, slow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come, 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 is rumored to be inside. Oh. The legendary Miss Piggy B will be leading us in oh God, Greg, to share a startling revelation. Miss Piggy B? Good evening. <laughs> Once I knew Miss Tate started going after my gaze, I knew it was time for me to do something about it. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's a terrible wig. <laughs> Come on, boys. 
Miss Piggy B. Miss Jonathan Tate. <gasps> A startling revelation. More soon. Trust and love each other. I do. Do you, Paul, take Jim to honor and trust and grow with? I do. Well, by the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you married. <laughs> When I was a child, my family took a drive up to the country. We met a stop at a little gas station in the middle of nowhere. And when I came back to the car, I realized they had driven off without me. And I was alone. I thought that I would be spending the rest of my life there, pumping gas. And I had asked myself, is that it? Is that all I get? Is that it? Is that all I get? I want more More than before If that's it If that's all I get then baby I mustn't forget That I gotta go get on with the show and Get on with it And when I was 22 the world was mine Success, life and love were all coming my way And then my young heart got broken into a million pieces and I knew I would never be the same. I cried for a week, and when my tears finally dried, I asked myself, is that it? Is that all I get? Is that it? Is that all I get? I want more. More than before If that's it If that's all I get Then baby I mustn't forget That I gotta go Get on with the show And get on with it And when I was 36 years old I thought my life was over Life hadn't gone the way that I planned And I thought I was through After years of trying to make something of myself 
I had to wonder, is that it? Is that all I get? Is that it? Is that all I get? I want more, more than before. If that's it. If that's all I get, then baby I mustn't forget that I gotta go get on with the show and get on with it. I gotta go get on with the show and. Get up.